What's up, the John Squad? You know that they say it's one up for World of Wrestling Wednesday. So let's do the show of the John Squad. So we're going to break down the Monday Raw that happened this past Monday on Raw. And then we're going to talk about Diddy Money in the Bank and give you the Money in the Bank's results. And so sit back and relax and let's do the show. Raw kicked off with Seth Rollins. Seth says that... He retained his World Heavy title at Money in the Bank. He's looking to see who he will be facing at SummerSlam. So then Cody Rhodes comes out, right? And um, Cody Rhodes makes his way to the ring. But 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 then he gets on the mic and says, So, that's what Cody Rhodes says. But then all of a sudden the music hits and that's Brock Lesnar. So Brock Lesnar comes out. And, and Brock Lesnar comes out. And Cody Rhodes and Brock end to a brawl with Seth leaving. Seth Rollins leaving. Then the Judgment Day comes out after that segment, and they talk on the mic to Seth Rollins, but then they set up a match between Dominic and Rey Mysterio. I meant Dominic and... Pardon me, guys. I'm tired. Dominic and Seth Rollins. They set up a match between Dominic and Seth Rollins for the main event on Raw for later on. So, uh, Damien Priest for Shinsuke Nakamura. Damien Priest beats, beats Shinsuke Nakamura. Then Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler get into a brawl with Shayna getting the upper hand. It looks like that Ronda Rousey's the heel in this feud and Shayna Baszler's the face. It looks like that. Then Sineville and Chelsea Green win the tag team turmoil and will face Raquel Riggins and Lynn Morgan for the WWE Undisputed Women's Tag Team titles. Then Becky Lynch calls out Trish Stratus in a promo, in a promo segment and for a, for, a, for a match tonight. That's a Becky Lynch calls for stress for having a match tonight. So then Trish is in a face guard and Zoe Starks comes out. Trish says that she's not medically cleared to compete after Becky broke her face at Money in the Bank. Uh, Trish volunteers to face to to have Zoe face Becky next week. So that's going to be good. Then we had Alpha Academy beat the Viking Raiders. Then Ricochet calls Logan Paul to to meet him face to face next week. So we have Rhea Ripley versus Natalia Natalia for the women's world title. Rhea Ripley beats Natalia to retain the women's world title. After the match is over, Rhea continued to attack Natalia, but Raquel Riggs and Lynn Morgan make the save. Then the Miz challenges Tommaso Ciampa to no DQ match for next week on Monday Night Raw. Which I think the Miz getting a character change I heard. Uh, we had Matt Riddle beats beat beats uh how do I pronounce the guy's name? Giovanni Vinci after the match is over Imperium at, attacks Riddle, right? They attack Riddle. But Jim McIntyre comes out and makes a save. Then for next week announced for Monday Night Raw, we have is Logan Paul and Ricochet face fa face to face. Becky Lynch vs. Zoe Starks, The Miz vs. Tommaso Ciampa in ODQ match, and Imperium vs. Drew McIntyre and Matt Riddle. Then Seth Rollins beats Dominic Mysterio by, T by DQ after Damian Priest interfered. Priest and Dominic attack Seth Rollins, and Priest teases a cashing in the money in the bank. But then Finn Balor comes out and attacks Seth, but gets into an argument with Damian Priest as Seth gets away while, while they are arguing. So now we're going to break down Dead and Money in the Bank, give you the Money in the Bank results. If you watched this Saturday, if you didn't, I recommend go watch the Dead and Money in the Bank. It was a great pay-per-view, Money in the Bank. So we had Damian Priest, and we had, we had a Money in the Bank ladder match for a men's championship match contract, which you all probably know one because you heard my Raw review, so my, my Raw results, my you know, you heard the Raw recap. So Damian Priest defeated Butch, LA Knight, Logan Paul, Ricochet, uh, Santina Escobar and Shinsuke Nakamura to win the Money in the Bank contract match. Then we had Liv Morgan where Kyrie gets defeated. Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler by pinfall to become the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. Then Gunther defeated Matt Riddle to retain the Incontinental kind of Championship. Then we had Cody Rhodes defeated, defeated Dominic Mysterio by pinfall. Then we had A.O. Sky defeat Bailey, Becky Lynch, Trisha, Selena Vega, and Zoe Starks to win the women's Money in the Bank contract match. The latter match. Then we had Seth Vigan Rollins defeated Finn Balor by pinfall to retain the WWE World Heavy Championship. And then, in the main event, we had the Usos, Jimmy and Jey Uso, 
defeated the bloodline Roman Reigns, Solo Sokoa, and and the blood bloodline Civil War tag team match. Roman Reigns got pinned, and now Baron Corbin's not the last one to pin Roman Reigns. So it's been over over a, a, you know a, a year or something like that, over a month or over a year that Jey Uso pinned Roman Reigns. So that means I'm seeing this at some point. We're gonna get Jey Uso versus Roman Reigns for the for the belt. At, you know, for the undisputed, for the Universal Undisputed Championship. That means we're going to get that time soon. Really. Once again, John Squad, please like this video. Leave your comments down below and subscribe for more. You're all the best, John Squad. You're one of color of each and every one of you guys. You mean a lot to me. Thank you for enjoying my wonderful World of Wrestling Wednesdays. And I'll be back here next Wednesday to, to entertain you guys with my wonderful World of Wrestling Wednesdays videos. Once again, please like this video. Leave your comments down below and subscribe for more. Peace out, the John Squad. God bless.